Python tutorial MACD stock technical indicator. Stock technical indicators are calculated by applying certain formula to stock prices and volume data. They are used to alert on the need to study stock price action with greater detail, confirm other technical indicator signals, or predict future stock prices direction. This topic is part of Stock Technical Analysis with Python Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking the link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of the video. Moving averages convergence divergence, commonly known as MACD, consists of centered oscillator that measures the stock price momentum and identifies trends. 12 days are commonly used for short-term smoothing, 26 days for long-term smoothing, and 9 days for signal. For full reference, I recommend that you read Gerald Appel, Technical Analysis, Powerful Tools for Active Investors, published by Financial Time Press in 2005. Its calculation has the following steps. A. Short-term and long-term smoothing calculation. Smoothing calculation is done through exponential moving averages. Here is an example we have for the short term a 12 days exponential moving average, in which the current 12 days exponential moving average is equal to 2 divided by 12 plus 1, which is then multiplied by the current close price minus the previous 12 days exponential moving average. That result we then add the previous 12 days exponential moving average. As initial 12 days exponential moving average, we have a 12 day simple moving average of the corresponding 12 periods close prices. For the long term smoothing calculation, we also do it through an exponential moving average, which has the formula equivalent to the ones above, but with its corresponding number of periods. B. MACD indicator calculation. 12 and 26 days MACD indicator is equal to the difference between short term minus long term smoothing calculations we made previously. C. 9 days MACD indicator signal calculation. It's an example. We have the 9 day signal, which is equal to a 9 day exponential moving average of the 12 and 26 days MACD indicator we calculated previously. D. MACD indicator histogram calculation. As a formula, the 12, 26, and 9 days MACD histogram is equal to the difference between the 12 and 26 days MACD indicator minus its 9 day signal. Great, so let's go into Python PyCharm IDE so that we can study MACD stock technical indicator with greater detail. Excellent, so here we are within Python PyCharm IDE. The first step within the tutorial is to do packages importing. So we'll import NumPy as MP, Pandas as PD, Matplotlib as PLT for the charts, and Talib as TA as our technical analysis library for the calculation of the MACD stock technical indicator. The next step is to do data reading. For that, we create the variable SPY, which is equal to PD or pandas.read underscore CSP, and then the path to the data file, which is found within data directory and the corresponding data file, which is right here. Data directory, data file, as MACD stock technical indicator data as a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values. Index column as date, and we parse those dates as true. So going into this data file and double clicking on it, we see as mentioned .csv or comma separated values. First we have a column with date, then we have SPY open, high, low, close prices, volume, and adjusted close prices. SPY, 
is the ETF investment vehicle which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index. SPY adjusted because these prices were adjusted for dividends and splits. And then we have within dates, data which is one year of data from the beginning of 2016 to the end of 2016, 252 observations for each time series. So we go back into the code file here and once we have the data ready for us, we can calculate the MACD stock technical indicator. Notice that we do it with the following. For the previously created SPY variable with the data, we're going to add three new columns, MACD, MACD SIG for the signal and MACD HIST for the histogram. And the calculation is done with TALIF package with TA as the technical analysis library with the corresponding technical indicators, dot MACD with capitals, the corresponding function. And notice here that we need to convert the previously created pandas data frame into a NumPy array. So we do so with NP or NumPy dot as array. And the data we'll be using for the MACD calculation is from that SPY variable. We're going to select SPY dot close or those close prices. And then we have the parameters for the technical indicator. Fast period equals to 12. That's the number of periods for the short term smoothing. Slow period equals to 26. That's the number of periods for the long term smoothing. And signal period equals to 9. The number of periods for the signal smoothing. Notice that these periods are the ones commonly used, but they are not fixed and can be modified according to your needs. And then we're going to visualize all of this within a chart. So here we have figure one, comma, AX or axis, which is going to be equal to PLT from matplotlib dot subplot. So it's going to have two plots, which are going to share the X axis as true. On the one on the top, we are going to visualize those prices and at the bottom, the corresponding oscillator as that MACD. So here at AX zero, that's the position at the top, we are going to plot from SPY, we're going to select SPY close prices with their associated legend located at the upper left. And at AX1, which is the corresponding plot at the bottom, we're going to plot first MACD technical indicator from that SPY variable, the one which we added those new columns when we calculated the technical indicator, also the signal with MACD SIG, and the histogram, but this histogram will have a specific line style, which is going to be a dash type of line style. We're also going to add the legend of this chart, which is going to be located at the upper left, the superior title for both of these subplots, which is going to be SPY close prices and the MACD stock technical indicator, and we show the chart. So let's go ahead and run the code file. So right here at the top, we click on run, Perfect. So that opens the running console and we'll briefly visualize the chart. Excellent. So here we have SPY close prices and MACD with its 12, 26 and 9 days stock technical indicator. Again, this corresponding number of periods are the ones commonly used, but they can be modified according to your needs. Then we have two charts. At the top, we have SPY close prices on the vertical axis, those prices, and then as a blue color time series SPY close prices. And at the bottom, we have the MACD centered oscillator. According to the legend in blue, the MACD corresponding technical indicator in orange, we have its signal. And then with dash green line at the back, we have the histogram. Notice that these two charts share the horizontal axis X, and that's from the beginning of 2016 to the end of 2016. Excellent. So let's go back into our slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.